shocked with how unusual he is. Yeah, giving himself a little bit of a shake, getting his adrenaline up. Gotta respect that. Always getting himself hyped before a match. And they're gonna be starting off on Battlefield. Oh, and already gonna be getting hit by Azir. That could have been so dangerous Ooh. so quickly. It could have, but as long as you don't play with any fear against Luigi, Luigi's just another one of the 80 some odd characters in the game. And they all die eventually. And Stock Taker already looking fearless. You know, not afraid to hit Luigi's shield nice and safe. He's got all of his timings on deck. Trying to catch a jump, but Elegant delays his option. And then is just able to punish Stock Taker 69 on reaction. Now, ooh, Elegant, like once again, just catching Stock Taker and all of these downbees. Just trying to make good use of the reversal options is really important. But there's something we got to talk about when it comes to Wolf Nair. Oh my goodness. And there's something we gotta talk about with Wolf Bear, because that's what opens up first yeah. blood of the stock. That entire interaction was solely one because of that new trailer eating that fireball. Stock taker was able to get in there. He was able to get a couple of hits for it as well. And now he is piling on the damage already. Look at this lead that he's built up. I love the fact that Stock is going for the safe pressure too. He's just knocking on the window with that shield pressure. He sees he gets oh. his hit. All right, a couple of hits. We're good. Bit of an old commitment from Elegant. Now all of a sudden, you stuck at the ledge against Wolf. Gonna be missing the punish. <laughs> he stared my man down in the eyes. And what was that? The eye. I, I feel like they're both playing on Yomi level three. We haven't even started the Yomi yet. Oh, excellent stuff. That should be the down yeah. kill. But it is on Battlefield. Keep that in mind. And Wolf has a bit of a fast follow as well. The next one will definitely be able to do it. Now stop Taku backing off a little bit. Looking for this F-Smash, just slowing down the pace of the match. And I got to say, the way he mix up, uh, mixes up his laser pressure is phenomenal. There we go. There's the response at the ledge, but still really good DI keeps yep. him alive. And the Wolf Flash through the fireball pressure. I don't think Stock has given any respect to the neutral beat. What? To Elegant. And right. look at how bad of a situation it puts Elegant in. Gonna be looking for some sort of a two plane. Backs off the neutral lane, even though that was on safe on hit. That down B is not gonna be able to do it either. It doesn't scale extremely well, but you gotta be a little bit higher up for that kind of a thing to kill. But finally, at 174%, more than enough to be able to do it. But Stock Taker, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is when Rage, combo's looking kinda tasty, but, but Elegant, elegant. manages to drop it. I feel like Elegant doesn't want to go through those. And just like that, Stock Taker with a clean back here. Now, all of a sudden, only at 44%. Two to one stock lead. He's cooking. He's chilling. He's playing this out so well. And Elegant, meanwhile, is trying to pick out wherever Stock Taker is adapting. But Stock is staying so firm to his game plan, and it's working out so well for him with oh. stage control and damage. But that jab grab mix up was excellent. Able to get the downfield uh, into the back here, catching the DI. And now this is Elegant's edge guard to find. Excellent tech from Stock Taker. He's living another day, but he's at such a high percent. Elegant maybe getting a little bit too antsy with his out of shield punish. You know, I was bringing this up earlier, but unfortunately it is a habit I'm seeing out of Elegant immediately. He's zaring, and then we're seeing the fireball follow-up. Multiple times now, it saved Stock Taker during these edge guards. Yep. Luckily for Elegant, his reversal game is top-notch. He's keeping the stocks even, but he's got to do something about this oh! damage! And he's going to have to find the answer in game two. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't think that was intentional from Elegant at all. I don't think he wanted to go for like an immediate air dodge. He wasn't looking out for the back hit. I think he just simply teched a little bit too soon. And then he was outside of his tech roll window. That did not look like an intentional maneuver at all. If you get hit by like, you know, something like that, you already know like what to look out for. You already know that Wolves want to down smash tech chase. So I, I don't know about that. Elegant played a little sloppy. He's got to tighten it up. Yeah. We're in the best of five territory, so there's plenty of wiggle room here, but if Stock manages to bring that momentum further as we go into game two on Steam, yep. it's going to be really hard. It's time to adjust, it's time to adapt, and it's time to game. Already Elegant going to be catching a jump, but you know what? Rising aerials at 0 percent. Nobody going to be able to find big follow-ups, but Luigi down throw. Big follow-ups indeed. Look at this damage. I love that he went for the grab again. He's recognizing how well Stock is SDIing out of these combos. Just trying to follow up. All right, going to be hitting through the zero. That was really good spacing, really good timing of his upbeat. Now finds a forwarder and then goes Ooh. for the neutral to get the delayed hit. That was so smart because he knew he couldn't get like a true hit after. Wolfman really is just a demon button. And look at how consistently Stock Taker's going to try for down tilt two frame. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it from Elegant on his own half too, but we're just not finding the mark oh. either. The DI that time around, mm. maybe not as impeccable, uh. not, a, not as based as before, but gonna be setting up another tech chase. Goes for all with the F smash, which I actually appreciate. 
the fact that it has such little recovery is just really good for just affirming that space. You gotta make it dangerous. You gotta make Luigi play on his toes. You can't play scared against Luigi, but if Luigi's playing scared, you're a whole nother creature. Oh, Not a very good one. Gets to go on hitbox with a dash attack, but no matter if he's still able to find a back here. Stock tick, he's gonna be evening it back up and getting a couple of hits for his doubles as well. A clean 30%. And the distance that Stock is opting to take so that he doesn't have to worry about the Zare fireball pressure. Yeah. It's again, smart. Elegant never really opts to go flee like those Zuga deaths, but you know what? 79% is still 79%. That's still a whole lot. Now gonna be looking for that back kill. That's Whoa, so cute. hold up! I thought he got pineapple. For I a also thought, but no, his aim was superb. Yeah, he was like just on the cusp of, uh, you know, imminent death. Stadium is actually a little bit more forgiving than people think. The, the ledge beneath where the camera doesn't show does push you pretty far. Yeah. So good on Elegant. But he's got to do something about this jumping from the ledge habit. He finally did it. He finally called it out. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I fought Stock taking the Dragon, I got away with a lot of jumps from ledge. Uh, I'm glad to see him going through some little jump call outs this time around. And now already getting a couple of up moves into a forward. He is cooking. He's putting on so much damage. Elegant is scrambling. Oh, oh, oh. Really good DI from Elegant, but it still puts him in a tough spot. The roll to forward smash, though? Yeah. A little bit of an anti landing option from Stock Taker. And what? Oh, no. Now, you was talking about how that down smash covering those spot dots is also oh. really good. Oh. Now, you gotta bring it back. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet, baby. Parry on the fireballs is rude, man. He's being really patient, kid, and that's going to be the back kid. And just like that, Stock Taker with a 2-0 lead against Elegant. Oh, Who Dara. could have seen this? Who could have predicted this? Dara. Oh, no. Hmm. Elegant's exhibiting very consistent habits. I wouldn't necessarily say they're bad, but without any mix-up, they are dangerous. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, a really big thing is, like, once again, like, some of these ledge options. But at the end of the day, all you need is, like, one gong gas. Right? Especially to wolf ledge trap. You're really not going to be getting off the ledge every single time. Because if he randomly alternates between a set of options, he will inevitably land something if he's going through pure randomness. So really good stuff to stock take. Now, I'm trying to think about, like, what Elegant could be doing a little bit different uh, going into this next game. I feel like one big thing is Jared's kind of getting away with getting back onto the stage quite often. He's also doing a really good job of covering the ledge. Just in general, like not even like the options to roll from ledge, the boxing at the ledge, covering the platform yeah. on PS2 works so well. Yeah, but we're gonna be taking it to Battlefield for game number two here. You know what? I'm curious why this was the stage of choice, considering that stock ticker seems to be like quite comfortable here. And he's going through like a lot more upbeats and side piece so that he can use his hitbox to clank with both the Zill and um, the fireballs. In theory, you have more landing option, and you could try to take advantage of the landings from Wolf here. But uh, I don't know. Like Stock played really fluidly on this map earlier, so bringing us back is a bold call out from Elegant. Yeah, I'm gonna be finding. Oh my goodness, what a trade! What the hell was that trade? Ooh. That trade was dirty. We're making bold ones. That's how you gotta play to stay alive, though. Elegant breaking first blood for the first time in the set, and he's got a lot of work ahead of him if he's gonna try to win this one out. We're ready, 52%. Stock take could just, once again, gonna be keeping it nice and safe with that up beat. Elegant, I don't believe that forward is intentional. He gave up a bit of stage forward, up beat. And just like that, that's not gonna do it yet. You gotta remember, you're on battlefield, percent's a little bit too low. Ooh, he's snowballing. They did dash attack to cover the option, also really smart. Really big back, really big damage, and this could be an edge guard. That might have been it, but Elegant still has a double jump. These covers are so good with this character. Unfortunately, time and time again, he's acting predictable in the ledge and Stock Taker is picking him apart because of it. Yeah, he was getting away with some of these jumps before, maybe not so much anymore. Stock Taker thinking that uh, Elegant was at the ledge, so he went for an immediate option, and that's how Elegant was able to land the upper. That was really, really good stuff. Now gonna be looking for that down throw. Dash attack, not quite. He DI'd up. He DI'd up and then mashed down the yep. That was so well played from Elegant. Good stuff, man. This is what Elegant needs to do. He's finally taking into consideration his own habits, adapting accordingly. So now, where Stock Taker has been trying to be part of those habits, he's overcommitting to the option, and it gives Luigi so much opportunity for big reversals. 
Yeah, wow, Elegant is just playing this game so well. Was able to bait out the ugly side feed. No punish that time around, though. Soft taking maybe being a little bit too hungry through that back here. Elegant now throwing out some low down beats and really, you know, cutting off his rhythm, cutting off his flow. Star, also notice how much we've seen uh, Elegant trying to play off the back, but an unfortunate wow. dip too low ends up forcing out an SD. But hey, Elegant will take it because it puts something on the board. Yeah. You know, learning about Battlefield is a pretty good choice, but I feel like at the end of the day, the biggest thing that came into play for Elegant is his tech chases got way more consistent. He was able to put on a lot more damage out of a down throw. He was able to optimize every single hit, and he was denying stock take for making it back on a couple of times. So uh, he was not really allowed to play his game. Stock Taker didn't find a back hit. He didn't find, um, you know, a call out of any of Elegant's landing options. Down B was Elegant's best bet today. Now, we've been seeing a lot of really good decisions with Down B from Elegant throughout the set so far. But what I think was the most important was how willing Elegant was to play at a mid to almost far range. Yeah. Playing outside of that burst range of Wolf and also outside of that range where Stock Taker can hunt out your options with a lingering there. I think it's really important. But oh, maybe getting a little bit too lost in the sauce that time around. Perhaps a little bit of snap back. Uh oh. Whoa oh. And just like that, now he is. Hey, yo, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh no. To the no. bottom blast zone. I like the idea that he wanted to go for like a bit of a stall there, but because he went for a diagonal angle, he was a little bit too far down. Basic geometry, guys. You know, gotta go up for the longest distance for your queen. Put stock on a really bad position when it comes to this game four. Town and city, though, ridiculously good stage when it considers how much oh, lateral yes, pressure Wolf is looking right. to put out. Wow, that was really good stuff from uh, Stock Taker. Just was able to bait it out. No more back -ins. No more up tilts. No more up tilts. Just, you know what? Who's going to land with the button? I'm going to have Smash you for it. And you know what? He got that trade. We have to see how well Stock Taker can play back the damage deficit, though, now. Because yes. If Elegant continues to play as effectively as he has been, he can work with this 79% that's built up on Total Elegant wanted to drift back off stage. That's how he like he usually keeps a lot of his Cyclone safe. But the body block because of the shield prevented him from doing that. He was on a Gong side, Gong plays, but that could be a really big opening kill. And Stock Taker does not roll in. Good patience, good reserved play. And now all of a sudden, look who has the positional lead. Ooh, oh, we're rolling back and forth now. When you get a couple of like carries like that, I mean, that is just confidence. And it slowly starts to break the opponent's mental. Good catch on the goal lane. And just like that, Mr. Stock Taker is up 2-1. to one. And Dara, we can hear the crowd from here. Well, Island's going crazy. New York's going crazy. Tri-State going crazy. Because we might be on the verge of yet another upset yeah. to knock in the belt of Stock Taker 69 for this tournament. But then once again, Paul Ceiling coming into play. Stock Taker seeing another day with the second stock. Able to find a down throw. Able to catch the mash out. This could be really bad for Elegant. Stuck at the ledge, but able to neutral get up in time. Stock Taker is a little bit too far out for the neutral to connect. This is Max Rage Wolf. This is really dangerous for Elegant. He needs to end this stock now. And opting to land with the down B was such a good choice. Tomahawk down B like that. Stock Taker is like, whoa, what did I just get hit by? That threw me off my rhythm. But now he has him at the ledge. This is where Wolf wants to be. But a good goal onwards uh, is going to allow Elegant to continue on with this. But you already know what he wants. He needs to get back onto stage and find a down throw. Just flickering that shield. Ready and waiting. Oh. But down smash off the back end. And Stock Taker is going to move on with the 3-1 win over oh, Elegant. A lot of Yo, Jared's kind of nice. Jared kind of clean. Jared's pretty damn clean. What the hell is happening? Long Island, Strong Island, baby. I did not stutter. I, 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 I don't know. This is this is so good to see. Let's fucking go, Stock Taker. Yeah, he was able to take it over the Chag. He was able to take it over the FPG. And now three wanting elegant as well. <laughs> oh my God. You hear the man? I heard he the doesn't man. need a pop off for that one. Yeah. He didn't even earn the pop off for that one. Ooh. Stock Taker playing like a man possessed today. And it's yeah. showing through every game. Yeah, no, uh, oh. that was that was incredible. I have not seen like such a shrug performance from him ever. Is this his best ever run? I haven't seen a performance from him in months. 
he has huh. not opted to go to locals. I, I feel I, like not Jade, even to hang out. He's just been big chilling, separating himself from Smash so that he could better his mindset. Elden Ring helps you get good at the whole mental thing. You get hit by something stupid in Elden Ring, I promise you it's a little bit better than getting hit by something stupid in Smash. It conditions you. Um, but yeah, no, I feel like a really big thing is that, like, every single time that I've seen, like, Stock Taker kind of, like, travel out of region, he's, like, a little bit notorious for underperforming, right? This is, I mean, you know, still within within region, he has, you know, in-region power-ups and all that, but... That really is the case, because I'm trying to think now, as you mentioned it, when yeah. he travels to stuff like Low Tide, when he traveled out to, yeah. I think, Rip Tide as well, didn't too suit hot at those, but he did mm -hmm. really well at the last Defend the North. He did the... Yeah, that's how far I got to clock it back for a good, like, anything that he's gone to outside of Long Island. That was and that's the day that, like, Leon made himself into a big name. Yes. Right? Yeah, DTN was quite an event, but that was in the days of and, your We're going to very different meta now. Stock's time to shine. Yeah, it's stock time, baby. But uh, we're going to be waiting on our next set to be ready to be coming on up. Just want to say, hey, guys.